Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Tony B. Conscious, the ghetto Van Gogh, as some often know me as. This generation's Basquiat, some people call me, and a lot of other things. I would just ask a question that I want to answer straight up. How was Fly Die Art started? How did Fly Die Art start? You want to know that? You want to know how Fly Die Art Start it. Let me tell you real quick. Well, see, back in the day, I used to be on Venice Beach. When I first got to Venice Beach, I wasn't even doing canvases. This is like late 90s, early 2000s. I used to paint 100% on T-shirts and clothing. And when I used to paint on t-shirts and clothing, people loved my art. And they were like, yo, that's dope. It looks like tie-dye, but it's not tie-dye because it's got the tie-dye look, but it's so hip-hop. It's so urban. It's so street art. It's so Basquiat-ish. It's so just ancient. It's so dope. They said, your art is fly. We're not going to call this no tie-dye. You better call that fly-dye. And that's where the name fly-dye art came from. It all started because the technique I had developed with the can, the aerosol, made regular clothing and other things look like it was a tie-dye effect, but it still had that fly, hip-hop flavor. Not for the hippies, but for the bippies and for the b-boys and b-girls and brothers and sisters all over the world who really got down with culture. That's where the name fly-dye came from. And that's how it came about. And now, whenever you hear the word fly die, the first people they think of is Tony B. Conscious, the ghetto Van Gogh. Say it ain't so.